What's up? Paul here from Guitar World, and today we're going to be checking out a powerhouse modeling guitar and bass processor that will knock your socks off, not just for its sound, but how incredibly affordable it is. The New X MG400. Let's check it out. The New X MG400 is the next step up from the popular MG300, or as New X puts it, the MG300 Little Brother, MG400 Big Brother, with their flagship modeler still being the MG30. The MG400 Sonic engine houses two powerful DSP chips for New X's high definition white box amp modeling algorithm, or TSAC HD, which stands for True Simulation of an Analog Circuit and core image post effects, which basically translates to you're going to feel the difference in playability and experience realistic amp and cab sounds from the MG400. Since releasing the MG300, and if you've ever played it and own it like me, I was completely floored by the sound and playability, let alone how easy it is to tweak its tone. The MG400 builds upon the MG300's intuitive interface and features and is poised to become one of the best modelers for its price. The MG400 comes loaded with 25 amps, one bass amp and one acoustic amp, and of course, a multitude of effects. What's great is New X's proprietary white box amp modeling algorithm replicates the sound, feel and playability of these amps. And New X is consistent in firmware updates, so you can pretty much bank on new amp and cab sims at some point. Just keep an eye on New X's online page and Facebook page and groups. The MG400 includes an impulse response library of 512 samples each, and you can also load third-party IR files using New X's QuickTone edit software. What's included is 25 guitar cabinet IRs that combine four different classic microphones, with three positions of mic placement. Also included are eight bass cabinet IRs and three acoustic guitar IRs. Looking at the eye-catching 2.8 inch color LCD screen, you can see you have 10 independent and flexible FX and signal blocks that you can move freely on the MG400 and or on the QuickTone editing software if you use your computer. Over to the left is the color LCD screen where you see your patch and you can begin to edit from there. On top, of course, is the location of your patch. You can see up on top here where your expression pedal is set at. If I hit the pedal button, you'll notice I can assign the expression pedal for different functions. Right now, it's a wah, but watch. I can use it for effects, amp, mod, delay, reverb. Next to it, you'll see how the control one and control foot switches are set up. One is tap, and the other allows you to scroll sequentially through the preset scenes. To the right, you'll see which scene you're on, and you'll see hitting the control one, which is the tap button, changes the BPM reflected by the icon there. On the bottom are the 10 signal blocks that comprise of amp, effects, and EQ, and you'll see your signal chain flows from left to right. To edit, simply hit the edit exit button. Brings up another screen and wherever the arrow cursor is, is what you're editing. And in this case, it's the amp. Use the control button to edit pages of that parameter. You'll see on this one, it has two from the underscore lines. Now, use the one, two, and three knobs to change settings and or use the rotary select knob to scroll through the amp models. Be careful when you're editing, just say on the amp, when you're using just these controls, you're tempted to go to the left and right arrow buttons. And if you do that, it'll just move the cursor to the next signal block and then you're onto a different editing screen. What's cool is if you wish to add a block that's not in the patch, simply move the arrow, then hit select control to turn it on and make it active. So in this case, I've activated a CE1 chorus, but if I don't want that and say I want a phaser, I can simply just turn the rotary knob until I get 
a phaser. And in this case, I have the phase 90 over here. Now, if I wish to move it in my signal block, all I gotta do is long press the select knob till it turns red, then use the left and right arrows to move it where I want it in the chain and hit select again till it turns green. <laughs> course, if I long press it and move it back to where it was behind the amp, it sounds so much different. But I like the way it sounds when I move it over there, right there. Over here is the mode button that sets up how you wish to configure the MG400 output. Also, pressing the edit exit and save simultaneously will bring up the system menu. There's also a built-in tuner on the MG400, but you'll see I'm also using the Cherub Flow Tune Clip Tuner that features a compensated tuning mode. But let's get on with the MG400. You'll notice the presets were made by well-known influencers and musicians from around the world. What's so great is just how nuanced all the sounds are. So even when you fire this up and you have this preset here, this is sort of like that Bogner, Bogner high gain sound. It, it's so different when I go to the next preset, which is more of a British sound. Take a quick listen. <laughs> Even some of the cleans are really nice. In this case, this is a very affected sound. Here's a great heavier sounding preset and of course the new X noise gate block is just incredible. Take a listen. <laughs> Less buttons, controls, and switches means you'll need to know how they are assigned to edit your settings. But don't worry, it's super easy. First up, you'll see the up and down foot switches that take you through the presets. I love the bigger covered orange knob that New X included so your foot doesn't hit knobs as you're reaching over with your foot to bank up. You'll see the overall master volume knob which you'll want to set up for a comfortable volume. Keep in mind, a lot of the presets vary in volume as you scroll through. One of the features I love is its scene functionality where you can use scenes to engage, disengage blocks with either control foot switch. Here, you can assign control one or control two to activate the scene functionality or use one control to engage each scene sequentially and use the other control as a tap switch. There are many versatile possibilities. Here's a great example of how to use the scenes this one is set up for the control one, is set up to turn the delay signal block on and off. Right now it's just with a heavy reverb. And then if I go to the second scene, indicated by the color, this is more of a modulated, but with this one also has a delay on the control one that you can turn on and off. Take a listen. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
each preset has three scenes, which are snapshots within a preset, and it's an important function for live gigs where you can tap into a rhythm or lead tones or affected tones. You'll notice each scene can engage disengage signal blocks freely, and it retains the delay reverb trails when you disengage them. If that's not enough, the MG400 includes a jam button for drum accompaniment and a looper. <laughs> has new X phrase loop synchronization with rhythm. So you can play a rhythm, record your phrase loop, and the MG400 will beat match the phrase to fit the current rhythm BPM. You can choose either stereo mono looping, Stereo is 30 seconds, mono is 60 seconds. And there are two recording modes. Normal recording works as a typical looper, and then there's auto recording, which will stand by until you press the control loop foot switch, and once you hit the strings, it will start to record your phrase loop. Once you download the Quicktone Editor from the MG400 product page, you'll find it to be a helpful and easy to use interface for tweaking parameters, dragging block order, set up scenes, saving patches, loading patches, exporting patches, load IR, setting up USB routing and control settings. And I can't forget that its USB audio capabilities allow you to record tracks, reamp, and even do live streaming. The new XMG400 is a powerful guitar and bass modeler that offers so much functionality and stellar tones at a price that fits working musicians and casual players' budgets. Plus, its compact design allows you to take it anywhere from the studio to the stage. You'll find, like me, its model sounds are seriously on par with many renowned modeling processors. I totally dig this. Definitely check it out.